So Roblox has published a big update about the aerodynamic forces now going live. And I'm just going to overview this update. And also excuse my voice, but I am a little bit sick, but I still wanted to get this video out for you guys. But anyways, as usual, leave a like and subscribe to support the channel and let's get into the video. So here is the now client beta, aerodynamic forces now publishable on live experiences, where the Roblox staff is saying that hello creators, we are excited to announce that aerodynamics has now transformed from studio beta to client beta. And this means that you can now publish experiences with aerodynamics enabled, allowing all clients and Roblox servers to experience the aerodynamics in live experiences. And with just a click, aerodynamics allow you to easily create more immersive experiences from realistic weather to lifelike flight simulations. And of course, thank you for the feedback that you provided during the initial studio beta. And then here we have the aerodynamics video preview that they basically just provided to us. And I'm just going to basically play it. So yeah, I need to say that the plane behaving like a bird is kind of really interesting. But then we basically just had these parachutes and something really nice, which is the lifelike wind and air, where you can basically just see objects flying around, but they're also able to basically hit and move people. And you also have some kind of a flight simulator. So that's for the preview. And to continue with this update, they left a note here saying that's not all. We have added some new functionality to enhance your creations even further. And and one of the functionalities seems to be the new atmosphere sensor. And here they say that they introduced the atmosphere sensor, which returns to new properties, where you have the air density and the relative wind velocity. And the sensor is a sensor base that outputs the data about the air density and mentioned relative wind velocity at a sensor's position. And the sensor based on instance that when you parent to a base part outputs the additional data about the world around the part. And this data is presented in the sensored output property category and often other systems will consume the sensored output data. And this sounds kind of interesting, so I'll try to check it out later. But then this sensor opens up exciting possibilities for dynamic interactions with your experiences and we've even got more cool features coming up your way that will build on this so yeah that's for this and let's just move to the y client beta paragraph saying that although aerodynamics is now available for live experiences this is still a client beta because we may make minor adjustments to the force model based on the feedback and once we we'll move past the client beta we we'll lock in the force models and promise any further changes will be communicated well in advance and and phased in respectfully to avoid the disruption and I'm kind of questioning why they bolded out the word respectfully but maybe I should move to the next line we'll also continue to improve performance based on the experiences so you can further optimize for specific use cases creators utilize aerodynamics for then there is a recap of the aerodynamic features and for those new to aerodynamics here is a quick summary of what you can do with the system and feel free to check the linked post for more details so of course you have the what's in the aerodynamics where you have the aerodynamic forces that basically just simulate lift, drag, torque and other forces on objects based on their shape and movement through the air. So like, well, basic aerodynamics. And this includes simulating the effects of any global wind and simulating the effect or air buoyancy. I don't really know what this word means. Sorry if I pronounce this wrong, but this is probably the first time in my life when I'm reading this. And then there is the support for wings, control surfaces and other aerodynamic elements. So for stuff like planes. And this is ideal for creating planes, gliders and other airborne systems. And you also have the check out how to set up the aerodynamics in your experiences right here. And this is the post that I was showing in my previous tutorial, which I made few months ago and I also recommend that you watch. But we can actually go back to these places and check out if anything changed in the aerodynamics because you are able to download these examples from right here. But again, going back, we have the atmospheric conditions, which is the air density and the wind force, which vary by attitude and can be customized to your game. And you can also learn more about how you can manipulate the air density and what the wind profile looks like from another link provided on here. And this one takes you to the same post, except to the third paragraph on top. 
And lastly from this paragraph there is the tooling where you have the windshock widget which is a studio ribbon tool that allows you to visualize how the wind is currently blowing using a windsock and gives you a direct way of modifying the speed and direction of the wind which is the yaw and pitch. And this time this link takes you to a different deform post which is the breeze into the wind full release. And the wind widget is right here on top where you can simply just enable it by pressing a one button under the view tab and the actions panel. And then there is the studio visualization tools which are tools that help you visualize aerodynamic forces, torque and center of pressure during the testing. And this one is something that I didn't even know existed. But yeah, I'm going to read that later and all of the links to these forum posts are basically just going to be down in the description. But yeah, ending this forum post there is the what's next. But before that there are also the useful resources where you have the best practices for aerodynamics, a lower minimum density info and a fluid field info where you have an overview and the geometry API and also examples of how to use the aerodynamics. And from the what's next paragraph, we hope to continue add the capabilities to the aerodynamic system over time. And those include simple items like adding relative wind audio and adding a fluid for sensor as well as a more complex items like wind occlusion and local winds. And your feedback on these and other potential capabilities would be very valuable. And of course we can wait to see what you build using the full power of the aerodynamics and as always I welcome your feedback. And the input has been crucial in getting this far. So yeah, that's the overview of the deform post from Roblox's physics team. But now they have also provided a place file that you can download right here, where you can run a number of performance experiments with aerodynamics by for example changing the number of body spawned, changing what kind of the object you want to clone, adding your own unanchored body to the replicated storage, and measuring performance with your own object. And this benchmark also supports only parts and mesh parts, where it's not going to support models. And you can also disable the aerodynamics by setting the workspace property of the fluid forces to be default. But we are actually just going to check out this place. And this is the aerobot default test after well opening it. And you can see that there isn't really much of anything. So maybe let's try doing a playtest. And here is basically a set of well falling bodies. This is mostly for checking the performance, so you need to check stuff like the microprofiler and other Roblox's performance tools, and also basically just mess around with a lot of the different settings that you basically have in this create bunch script. The defy expand is going to have the number of objects the object to create, a player owned and the spawn radius. So if I change for example the number of objects to be something like maybe 3000, and then do another playtest, it's going to kind of lag the game. So maybe 3000 object is a little bit too much for Roblox to handle the aerodynamics. So maybe I'm just going to do something a bit different, like maybe 1000 objects. And then if I go to the replicated storage, I'm going to have a lot of different stuff. Like for example, the F15 that I could maybe set as the object to create by selecting it from the value and the F15. And this time I'm just going to do maybe 20 and not actually 8000 because I don't really want my game to crash. But yeah, here are the, well, F15 jets falling under the aerodynamic forces. And also to just view the new instance really quickly, I think it's set to add a base part and then the sensor. And you have the atmosphere sensor, the buoyancy sensor and the controller part sensor. And I don't know how operative these are or this even would be a good idea to use them. But basically the properties that you have on this, for example the atmosphere, you have the air density and the relative wind velocity. And for the buoyancy you have the fully submerged and touching surface. And this one for example turns on if this part were to touch the water. So if I just go to the view and then the terrain editor and for example just fill it with water and then put this part on the surface. Now there is going to be nothing on the sensor really but let's see if I try to for example submerge this part. And this one actually turned the touching surface property on, which is pretty neat. And if I fully move it under the water, the fairly submerge property isn't really working. Oh, because it needs to be at least one voxel of water or above. So I will need to move it somewhere I think right here. Yep, and now it's fully submerged. 
So I'm guessing that the atmosphere is going to basically just work with the wind and I'm not really sure what the controller part sensor is for, so yeah. And lastly, because I didn't really see anything change in the different places that use the aerodynamics, so I just decided to, well, check out the F-15 one, since I remember that this was pretty fun to actually use. But basically, I can just simply start the jet and, for example, just go a little bit higher and just completely lose control immediately. Okay, I think I landed. Can I somehow turn? I don't think I can. Well, for some reason, it just gives me they just like pushing me up and then doing this but well there was also another thing with this and it was the eject which basically just works like this but this time it didn't really eject me well so anyways i don't think that they are supposed to operate a plane like this yeah it just immediately pushes me to the left even like even if i press it really lightly so you know what i'm just going to go max force and then basically eject right here for example and yeah this is going to be the well parachute now but yeah i basically just wanted to revisit the examples and you might see that not everything is really working too well sometimes but yeah that's going to be everything for the aerodynamics release and as usual if you like us to support the channel and again go check out my patreon page that's all for you guys for watching hope everyone has a nice day and see you guys